Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Today's bipart batch of bedroom badness. No fi and eyes in the closet. I'm a fan of underground music, which is largely these days made up of no fi. No fi, if you're not aware, is a genre of music where people use distorted guitars and synthesizers as well as alarm clocks and circuit bent Game Boys to make music. I remember first stumbling upon the artist Shadow Man while browsing on YouTube. What drew me to him was the fact that he also made NoFi. His music was actually pretty simple. I remember uh, one track being two whole minutes of a digital alarm clock just beeping. He used a low resolution black and white image of an open door leading to a dark room to accompany his tracks. He never gave his real name, but none of that really mattered to me. I continued to listen because I enjoyed his music. Then one night, while I was sleeping, I heard a loud thump, not unlike a book falling off a shelf, and I woke up. I got kind of freaked out and I thought it was just me being paranoid like it always was when things like this happened. I got out of bed and paced around my apartment for a few minutes trying to shake it off. Eventually the silence of the place got lonely and I needed to hear something make sound. So I flipped on my television and started experimenting with my old Yamaha keyboard. Now I don't necessarily know how to play piano or even just regular keyboard, but sometimes I'd go over there and I'd start poking at it, sometimes just randomly. So a couple days later, no, it was the next day, I was listening to a Shadow Man track on YouTube when I glanced over at the related videos section and I noticed a new track of his that I hadn't heard before. It was entitled Restless Night. I looked at the upload date and it read January 10th, 2012. So knowing it was brand new and that I'd be interested in hearing something new from this guy, I clicked on the video link. The familiar black and white doorway popped up and the track was a very crude recording of piano keys being played at random with voices in the background that sounded like they came from a radio or a television. This sounded way too familiar. After it ended I hit the replay button and I listened to it again and then it hit me. This was a recording of me. Have you ever walked into a room and noticed the closet door hanging ever so slightly open when you know no one else has been in there? You normally assume that you did, but you forgot to close the door, or you think maybe somebody else did it. You open your closet sometimes and look around, and of course there's nothing. Well, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, you won't ever see anything, unless you wait until the sun goes down. See, it comes out when you sleep, ever so slowly pushing your closet door open. It crawls out, low to the ground on all fours, to your bed, and then it sits next to you, puts its face right up to yours, and stares. Sometimes it stares, stir your sleep and you roll around in bed, uncomfortably rustling your covers. It likes to make noise in your closet, play with the doors and the lights in your bedroom. Its black, bony hands will grab your covers and pull them off so you'll shiver. It will put its mouth right up to you and breathe that cold, shallow breath on your neck, giving you goosebumps. Oh. The stench of that breath it smells like decaying flesh. It will 
of course, continue to toy with you. It loves to play with its food. If it manages to wake you up and you open your eyes, it will be there, with its jaws gaping open. You see, it doesn't like it when you actually see it. I know, I know. When you were a kid, your parents always told you there was nothing in the closet, or under the bed, or outside your window. Because how would they get up this high? But you have to understand, sometimes there are things your parents don't know about. Stay scary, wildlings, and make the most of your nights. <laughs>